Wildlife Diaries gives the viewers a glimpse of the various patients the Wildlife Center of Silicon Valley works with on a regular basis. All staff and volunteers have undergone training to work with various animals. Please do not try to care for an injured wild animal yourself. Take it to your nearest wildlife rehabilitator. Wildlife Diaries, Episode 4, The Out-of-Breath Fox. An orphaned bobcat kitten makes its appearance at the center. Although bobcat kittens are often confused with feral cats, they are not. And you can tell why. It's good though. A California gull is brought to the center. This gull is extremely weak and has suffered head trauma. Palpating his long bones and joints for any crepitus. So I did feel some crepitus in his elbow. The staff palpates its wings to determine any other signs of injury. Fluids are then administered to the gull to help it with the pain and restore its fluid levels. A gray fox who is found in a ditch and breathing heavily arrives at the center. When working with predatory mammals, the staff will use a muzzle to restrict the animal from attacking the staff. I'm just palpating her joints and bones to feel for any fractures or dislocations. I haven't felt anything yet. And what are you doing, Beth? I'm giving her oxygen. She's breathing rapidly, and her respiration is abnormally high. Um, she's actually a normal temperature, and uh, we just want to try to get her heart rate and her breathing under control. The staff dislodges a tick from the fox's body. Turns out it's not one, but two ticks. The delivery of supplemental oxygen helps to stabilize the fox and it starts breathing normally again. Tree trimming without looking for nesting squirrels often causes baby squirrels to be abandoned or orphaned since their nests are destroyed. These squirrels arrived at the center as a consequence of tree trimming without checking for nests. These squirrels will be sent to home care once they are assessed for any injuries. The staff is about to release two red-tailed hawks which have been rehabilitated and determined them to be healthy enough to release back to the wild. Three, three, One, three. two, three. Woohoo! <laughs> Visit us at WCSV.org to see how you can help us in protecting our wildlife. Donate to our cause, volunteer at our center, or simply share the word.